scatter plots and correlation. So a scatter plot is a graph on a number plane in which we have two we have two axes, our x and y axis, and we're plotting we're plotting points from bivariate data. So it might look something like this. This would be an example of a scatter plot. Correlation is a term that is used to describe how well that data fits a linear relationship. So you can see this one looks like it kind of fits a linear relationship, but not exactly. We'll get more of this now. So if we have if we plot a scatter plot and it looks like this, where everything lines up perfectly, we can say this is a perfect positive correlation. And the reason we say it's perfect is because if we would draw a line through it, it would go through every point. And the reason we say it's positive is because its gradient is positive. We can also have something like this. Where the data almost makes a perfect straight line, but not quite. And here we could say it's a strong positive correlation. If we have something like this, where it's a bit more scattered, this would be an example of moderate positive correlation. We could also have something like this, where it's really spread out, but still showing some kind of relationship in the positive direction. And this would be a weak positive correlation. We can also have our data going in the other direction. Something like this, where a line goes perfectly through but downwards, shows a perfect negative correlation. And we have something similar for all our other ones here. So a strong negative correlation, it wouldn't be perfect, but it almost lines up. And here we've got a strong negative correlation. Let's look at what a moderate negative correlation is going to look like. And it's going to be something like this, where it's showing a relationship in the negative direction, but the data is kind of spread out. So this is a moderate negative correlation. And finally, a weak negative correlation is when it's really spread out but going in the negative direction. Maybe even slightly more spread out. This will be a weak negative correlation.
We can also have data that's just scattered everywhere. And this will be no correlation. When we talk about correlation, we can actually assign values to correlation. No correlate, the, there's a symbol for correlation, and that's R. So it's called the correlation coefficient. And we give that a symbol R. If it's a perfect positive correlation, R will be equal to one. If it's a perfect negative correlation, R will be minus one. Can you think about negative gradient? So it gives a negative value and a positive gradient gives a positive value. If there's no correlation, R is equal to zero. So everything in between is gonna be between zero and one. So an example for strong positive correlation might be an R value of 0 0.9 and strong negative might be R equals minus 0 0.9. For moderate positive correlation, R might be 0 0.6 and for negative moderate correlation, R might be minus 0 0.6. For weak positive correlation, R might be 0 0.3 and for weak negative correlation, R might be minus 0.3. Let's look at an example of drawing a scatter plot. So let's say we've got data in a data table for x and y that's going to be 7, 11, 4, 5, 10, 15, 9, 12, 5 and 8, 10 and 3, and 2 and 2. And we wanted to draw a scatter plot. So we can use our x and y axis. So we're going up to 10 on the x axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And up to 15 on the y axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we want to plot these points out. So let's look at 7, we should draw in some numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You should be using a ruler when you do this. So let's plot these out. So 7, 11. So 7 for x, 11 for y. It's going to be about there. 4, 5. About there. 10, 15. Might be here. 9, 12. About there. 5, 8. It's about there. 10, 3, it's going to be there. And 2, 2, it's about there. So there's our scatter plot, all plotted. And we want to describe the correlation between x and y. So definitely looks like it's positive. And the data fits quite well. So we're going to say this has a strong positive correlation. And are there any outliers in this correlation? And it looks like this point here is an outlier because it doesn't really belong with the other data. We can see the other data is forming a nice straight line. This one looks like it doesn't belong. So the outlier we can say is the coordinate 10, 3. Thank you.